Good evening. Hello, good evening. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Here we are. Uh, teacher. Hey, what's up? Uh, I have issues with my internet today too, so we will. I will try to. Thank you. Be here, me. but I I can't use my my phone today because I need the data. I I can spend so early, so I will try to be here. Thank you, Fernando. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You got a 10. You got a 10 already on the class. <laughs> I will I will lend you my internet, but you're too far away, I guess. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, how many are we? We are six. Hello, Hedy. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Great. I'm glad to hear that. We are seven now, just waiting for the others. So what's up? How's your job doing? My job? Yep. <laughs> uh, is is going great. Yesterday, I couldn't connect because I I I came home about ten thirty ten forty five. It was a really really hard day, but I achieved all of the goals. The fourteen goals. Oh my God! 14 I got goals. a star. Means that you you achieve all of the goals. Right. All of them. Fourteen uh -huh, holes for the month. And you get an month. extra bonus. Oh, look mm -hmm. at you! <laughs> but there's something special about this one. Uh, when you when you achieve all of the goals, they give you a star. Hmm. And this branch has never won a star. It's the first one. Oh my God! That's mm -hmm. a great reason for celebration. Yeah, I was really really happy yesterday. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, are you having a Christmas party? No, we're not having. Are you giving, I don't know, turkeys to the employees or what, what are you doing special? They give us a turkey. Yeah? Mm -hmm. See. Si. Already? No parties are allowed. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Just virtually, maybe we, we have a party. Really? On, on the 17th. No, us. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying. A virtual party. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Okay. Hey, Luis, how are you, Luis? Hello, teacher. Good evening, everybody. You're at home. Yeah, I'm at home. Yeah, you're not working today, are you? Um, no, no. Um, I yesterday I worked because it was the the close of the month but but today i worked until um 6 p.m mm. interesting yep is your job boring do you feel your job is boring or is it entertaining no it's not boring uh, every single day have a, a challenge, a different kind of challenge. A different kind and, of challenge. Yeah, about the raw material, about the uh, transporting, for example. And yesterday we have an issue with the, the, uh, the 
shipments because the next week is not going to to have a, a I don't know how to say el sarpe like a selling of the the, the chip. Oh 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 yeah. Um, when when a plane leaves the airport, it's the potting. It is the potting, but yeah, it's just shipping out. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Sarpar. Sail. Mm -hmm. Sailing. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Sailing. Hmm? You're saying sailing? Sailing <laughs> takes me away to where I'm going. Yeah, Christopher. Christopher. Oh my God, is it Chris, Christopher Cross? Wow. I guess. Yeah, Christopher Cross. Yeah, Arthur Stem. Wow. So you do a lot of logistics. Yes, I work at, in a supply chain department. That's why. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. So you know about Inco terms? Um, a little bit. A little bit. Do you, I, use, do you really use the input terms? Um, in my area, no, but the, another area of the supply chain dispatch area, they, they use it. Mm. But, but normally it is used by the sales team because they um, have a contract after and before to, to, to accept a, a purchase order. And there is a income term that uh, we will use. You know what, I'm correcting myself. This SARPA is uh, the part that was using. So you use the same for an airplane, a ship, the parts, mm -hmm. leaves, you can say leave too. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to teach you something new today after I do the attendance. Let's do the attendance. We are 15 now. Woo! Okay. Let me do the attendance and then we will talk about negative questions. Hmm. Okay. Really quick. Ada, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Yeah, I can hear you. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Yeah, he was here. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. Jose Alberto. Oh, good. <laughs> Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. And Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Ok. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suley Maibón Moreno de Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, teacher. Okay. Johnny, te mencioné, ¿no?
Yeah, teacher. Ok. Ada, ¿usted es feliz? ¿Verdad? Yeah. Ok. Erwin. I am here. Tú vendes baterías, ¿no? I sell batteries for the car and the motorcycle. Ok. José Antonio. Tell me. Tuviste COVID, ¿no? Yes. Mm, ok. Suleima. Tell me. Fuiste al dentista, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Yeah, that's the idea. So, how do you call these questions in Spanish? Everybody, how do you call these questions in Spanish? This sort of grammar. It's to confirm yeah. something like that. What? It's to confirm something. I... To confirm something. I used to have this teacher in inter Relaciones Internacionales in Foreign Affairs. He used to teach us um, the history of foreign affairs and then introduction to politics. And now I think he's an ambassador now, but his approach, his methodology, his approach was the rhetoric. Rhetoric. I used to hate how he used to teach us because he was always rhetoric. You know, making rhetoric questions. And these are tag questions. Tag questions. Preguntas retóricas. Okay. So let's pay attention, please. Uh, this is a very interesting topic. Uh, bueno, quiero hacer una pausa y agradecerles de todo corazón que estén aquí, de verdad. Yo sé que es difícil su trabajo, el horario, el tráfico. Man, todo eso, de verdad, se les agradezco de que estén acá. Trataré de hacer lo mejor que pueda para ayudarles en esta meta que se han puesto y creo que es por eso que están acá, ¿no? Eh, sí, les pido de nuevo, eh, apaguen su micrófono, solo que quieran participar y les invito a que participen. Entonces se encienden y lo vuelven a apagar. Ok, let's move it. So, tag questions. T-A-G, tag questions. Look at the structure of, this is a simple question, right? We often, well, it's not a question. We often watch TV in the evening. That's an affirmation, right? Right. So what is the grammar tense in this question? We often watch TV in the evening. Is it past? Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. We often watch TV in the evening. So what is the auxiliary for the simple present? Do and does. Do and does. Very good. So, and this is an affirmation. This is a positive sentence, right? So, this rule is so simple. Just mm -hmm. identify, identify the grammar tense with the simple present. Remember the auxiliary of the grammar tense. We said do or does. And then you're going to make the short question in negative for an affirmation and in positive for a negative statement. So again, we often watch TV in the evening, positive. So the question will be? Don't we? Ah, and you need the subject. You need to use the same subject, don't we? Okay, look, we often watch TV in the evening, don't we? Got it? Let's look at another example. This is very simple. Um, okay, what is the grammar tense, everybody? Oh. Present perfect. Present perfect, thank you, Alexander. Okay, come on, everybody. You have cleaned my bike. Don't pay attention to the question mark yet. You have cleaned my bike. Okay, don't pay attention to the question mark dots. It's a positive or negative statement in simple pre in present perfect? Positive. Positive, thank you. So what's the auxiliary for the present perfect, Johnny? Johnny loves grammar. Uh, 
Has. You got it. So, Johnny, what is the question? Have you? Have you? Okay. But this is a positive question. You a have cleaned my bike. It's a positive sentence. So, haven't you? Haven't you? It's got to be negative. Okay. okay. Haven't you? Again, you have cleaned my bike. Haven't you? Haven't you? One more. Luis Ernesto. Let's see. Mary didn't do her homework last Monday. What is the grammar tense, please? Simple past. Simple past. What's the auxiliary? Did. Is it positive or negative question? Uh, negative statement. Negative statement. Yeah. Didn't. Didn't. Right. It's negative. So what would be the tag question? And by the way, what is the subject in this sentence, Luis? What is the subject, My, guys? Mary? Mary! How do you replace Mary with a subject? Mary didn't do her... She? She, right? Okay, so it's negative. The question needs to be positive, Luis. Oh, your microphone. I didn't hear well the last word you say. Okay, so we have Mary is a subject. It's a negative yeah. statement. So the question yes. will be positive using the auxiliary and the subject. What will be the task question, Luis? For positives, we did do. She, oh, no. did she? Did, yeah. Did she? Huh? Did she? There you go. Did she? Okay. So again, Mary subject. It's a negative. Mary sentence. didn't do her homework last. It's a negative sentence. So we use the auxiliary in the opposite direction. We say, did she? Yeah. Okay. What am I saying with this? That little no, verdad? Yeah. Okay. Next example, Ada. Peter played volleyball yesterday. Is it? What is this grammar tense? Peter played volleyball yesterday. Adita, Doc, uh, play theater. Is it past or future, present? Simple, present. Simple. Simple, simple, present. Hmm. It says yesterday. Simple yesterday. Past. Ah, simple past, simple past. Simple past, it's simple past. So what is the subject, Ada? Peter. Peter, what's the auxiliary for the past? Play. No, the auxiliary. Uh, Peter is he. Did, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is a positive or a negative sentence? Peter played volleyball yesterday. Mm. It's positive. It's positive. So the little question needs to be. Did 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 didn't Peter didn't he? There you go. Didn't he? Excellent dog. Didn't he? Okay. They so say Peter played volleyball yesterday. Didn't he? Didn't he? Okay. Woo! You got it, William Alexander. Next, what is the grammar tense? Mm, question continues. Let's see, they are going home now. Yeah, that's present continuous. Great job. What's the subject? They. What's the auxiliary? Mm. 
Mm. What is the auxiliary for present continuous? Shakespeare, Shakespeare. Bert, to be. Uh -huh. To be. be. Yeah. Okay, so now is this a negative, positive, or question? We are going home now. Uh, positive. Excellent. So what will be the tag question, William? Aren't they? That is yeah. Aren't they? Aren't mm -hmm. they? They're going home now, aren't they? One more thing. Cuando ocupas el verbo to be, también puedes ocupar do en ciertas ocasiones, como en esta. They're going home yeah. now. You can say, don't they? Y eso es más británico. Eso es más británico, pero quería aclararlo. Don't they? Okay. They're going home now. Aren't they? Don't they? Good job. Okay, Alexander de Jesus. Uh, okay, same questions. What's the tag uh, question? They don't like mathematics. Do they? Ah, you got it. Do they? They don't like mathematics. Do they? Excellent. Let me choose someone else. Haiti. If you got it, I think you got it, but she can't swim. Can she? Can she? <laughs> you got it. Can she? So you use the auxiliary and the opposite. She direction. can't swim. She can't I, swim. And you use the same. She can't oh, swim. She can't swim. Oh, come on, I'm trying to quiet this thing. I'm sorry. She can swim. Can she? Okay. And the same thing happened. Does she? Doesn't she? Okay, Johnny, you haven't been to America. Ooh. You have, have you? Have you? Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, this is all simple. Simple, you know it, Sulema. Um. Jane is the name of a uh, um, man or woman? Female. Female. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. What is the grammar tense? Uh, present. Present. Okay, so you know the auxiliary. Jane goes to the ninth grade. Is this a positive or a negative question? A negative sentence, I'm sorry. Positive. Positive. Okay, so what will be the task question? Um, doesn't he? Oh, it's she, right? Doesn't she? Oh, doesn't she? You got it. Doesn't she? Jane goes to the ninth grade, doesn't she? I wouldn't say two, guys. I wouldn't say two. Jane, Jane goes to ninth. Oh, no, I wouldn't say the. Jane goes to ninth grade, right? Jane, <laughs> sorry, Jane goes to ninth grade. Doesn't she? Okay. Let's see, Andres Giovanni. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Sandra Elizabeth. They had a nice cream. They had a nice cream. Uh, hmm. Why is the drama tense? They had a nice cream. What is the grammar test, Sandrita? Uh, this. Simple past? Yes, you got it. What is the auxiliary for the simple past? So yeah, um, simple past. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the auxiliary for the simple past? Simple past is, is this. Yes. What is the subject? Uh, uh, I 
Excellent. Didn't they? You got it. Didn't they? Okay. They had an ice cream, didn't they? Didn't they? Okay, okay. Jose, Jose Antonio, and then I go with Irene. Jose Antonio, you can play chess. You can play chess. Simple. It's, yes, it's simple present. Simple. But you're using a model, right? You can play chess. Can you? Can you? Very good. Can you? It's so simple. Irene, you will be there. Future. Future with Will. Okay. What's the tag question? Uh -huh. Pay attention, guys. Very nice. You will be there. I will. Mm, what's the subject? I and you. You, right? You, okay. You. The auxiliary you. will. You. So this will is a you? positive sentence. I need a negative. Okay. One, one, you. Perfect. Not you. Okay. Yeah, you will be there, won't you? And in this case again, yes, you can say don't you? Won't you? Don't you? Okay, you will be there, don't you? Won't you? Okay. Excellent. He's a student, everybody. He's a student. Isn't he? Isn't he? Yes. Auxiliary. Isn't he? Irwin. She has already graduated. Present simple, simple present. Mm, mm, mm. Has graduated. Present perfect. Okay. Yes, present you got perfect. it. Yes, present perfect. So what's present the uh, what's the auxiliary in this tense? Bear with. Uh, she graduate. She has already graduated. It's a positive sentence in present perfect. What is the auxiliary for the present perfect? It's not already, no, no. Graduate, no. Mm -hmm. But yes, graduate is this one. It's, 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 it's the verb. Ah, oh, excuse me. Already. Mm. The, the auxiliary is the particle that goes in positive, negative, and question on the present. Perfect. So let me say it for you. She has already graduated. She hasn't already graduated. Has she already graduated? Yes, she does not. So she what is it? No, oh, she, she has, has not. She has. So she has, has is the auxiliary. Yes, she has. Okay, so what's the task question? Positive sentence, negative question. Uh, she hasn't, hasn't she already graduated? You got it, just hasn't she. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. So again, she has already graduated, hasn't she? Hasn't she? Yes, hasn't she? Okay, y de nuevo, con eso solo estoy preguntando, ¿no? ¿O no? ¿Verdad? ¿Bajo? Right? That's what you're saying, okay? Next, she was angry at you. She was angry at you. What is the grammar tense? Everybody, everybody, everybody. I'm missing Jose Alberto. Simple pass. pass. Okay, Jose Alberto, Simple what's pass. the tag question? Mm, wasn't she? Excellent. You got it. Okay. You will like a cup of coffee. Wouldn't you? Excellent. Wouldn't, wouldn't you? you? Wouldn't you? Sounds very nice. Okay. Wouldn't you? You will like a cup of coffee, wouldn't you? Okay, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? English is your, is, English is your favorite subject. Isn't, isn't it? Excellent. Be careful. Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Got it. Your friend plays the guitar. Your friend. Mm. 
you got it doesn't he or doesn't she we don't know if you is i mean your friend is he or she okay she didn't call you last night did you did she yes because it's in the kind of you got it did she okay and last one you come from Thai. You come from Thailand, Tallinn. I don't know what it is. You come from Tallinn. Do you? Don't don't you? Did you? Don't you? Don't you forget about me? Yep. Don't you? Did you? You come. An action. An action. So you do. Okay. You come from Italy. I'm sorry. You come from Tallinn. Don't you? I'll send you this presentation. Did you like it? Simple. Yes, teachers. Did you use? Do you use that questions? Yeah. Yeah, typically you do, right? Don't you? <laughs> okay, it's very natural. Okay. Okay, we have three minutes. I want to hear from you any questions, doubts that you have. I was with Wendy on the last 101 session and then she had a lot of questions because it was the first time that we had a one-on-one -on -one session and I gave her an advice to improve, to improve um, her grammar, just as I have done with you, you know, grab five verbs with five words and start practicing all the grammar tenses that you have seen, okay? Today is the 12th, I'm sorry. January 12th, December 1st, oh my God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Christmas. Yeah, almost. We're going down, people. We're going down 23 days. William Alexander Ramirez Flores, please stay 10 minutes after the class. Okay. Would you? Y esa es una pregunta en general. Puedes ocupar en cualquier momento. Quiere decir, lo harías. Would you? No lo haría. Wouldn't you? Okay. So, what is our goal for today with your topic? Is to design a basic checklist to hire a third-party logistics provider. How do we do this? To hire a third-party logistics provided, provider. We already talked. And by the way, this is page 23 on your book. We already talked a lot about benefits. We talked about the pros and cons. We already talked about the pros and cons of hiring a third party logistics provider. Pros and cons. What is pros and cons? Pro and contrast. Yeah, or what is positive and what is negative about a specific topic. So does your company use basic warehouse functions like receiving, stacking, packing, or shipping? I repeat, does your company use basic warehouse functions like receiving, stacking, Packing or shipping. Why is it important to do a total needs assessment before hiring a third party logistics service provider? A throw, 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 throw. Hmm. 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 Let's use Juglish for that word throw, throw. To do a throw needs assessment, throw. Needs assessment. Irene, can you repeat, Irene? Yes. Can you repeat that? To do a throw needs assessment? To do a throw needs assessment. Ah, uh -huh. no, Alexander, I'm saying throw. 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 There is a difference between, and just be careful because this is very common on advanced English. Okay, through, through, look at the writing. Look at the writing of throw, throw. 
Mr. Google, did we lose? Did we lose, uh, Mr. Google? Uh, I can't help today because my internet <laughs> is very bad. Sorry. Tomorrow oh, maybe. Yeah. I'll miss you. We will miss you. And Google is is left building, guys. So sorry. Okay. Through means a través, right, teacher? A través. Okay. Yeah, but through through means a través. What is through? Mm -hmm. What is through? Exhaustivo. Exhaustivo. Good. Just be careful, guys, because it's very common to make a mistake like this. Through. Okay. Through. That's mean, that means a través, Elias. A través. Through. Okay. So, and in spoken English, it's very common to understand it. I mean, in a context conversation. So, does your company use basic warehouse functions like receiving, stacking, packing, and shipping or shipping? Okay, a little bit more about your teacher's history, your teacher's story. I started my first, no, 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 let me see. My second formal job was at Super Selectos. I, I was studying a technical career in business administration. But this technical career, it's called Empresa Centro with uh, Camara de Comercio Industrial El Salvador and Alasi, okay, with InsaForp. So I took the technical career. I, it lasted two years. But what I loved about it is that they send you, they get you, they get you hired in a company from day one. And what you study on Saturday and Friday and Saturday, what you study on Friday and Saturday, you apply it to the company. So I started, my first position was as a warehouse supervisor, a warehouse supervisor of Super Selectos. I was in San Luis, in Super Selectos San Luis, and I spent there like three or four months. The thing is that I, I remember I remember receiving all the products, you know, oh my God, that was so heavy, so much work to do. You had to be careful with scanning the codes, uh, counting the items, making sure there were no drugs. <laughs> I mean, there are so many things you have to consider when you work in a warehouse. Stacking, how are you going to stack the product? Do you understand stack? Yeah. Come on, no Spanish. To, to pile up, to pile up, right? Okay, that's stacking. One thing on top of the other. Packing, you know what is packing, and shipping. So yeah, it was very difficult. Um, now, a needs assessment, why is it important? Have you ever conduct a needs assessment or through auto needs assessment before hiring someone or before conducting any activity or project? No. No idea? No, I haven't. I haven't you, haven't, you haven't conducted, you haven't conducted a needs assessment um, before doing anything else. Okay. Needs assessment. Um, it light me, it light me. Heidi, I'm sure Heidi remembers this topic. Irwin. What is a needs assessment list? Well, let's break it down. What is an assessment? An, an interview. An evaluation. Evaluation. Evaluation, right? Evaluation. A test. A test. An evaluation of what? Of a process. An evaluation. In this case, uh -huh. in this case, it's an evaluation of needs. It's the opposite. So needs is qualifying assessment. So, what do we need? What do we need? As a company, what do we need from the third party logistics service provider, right? Do we need, as we talked about, 
this before, do we need someone with 10 trucks exclusively for our company or one truck will be enough, right? So before hiring, what is important? Why is it important to do a total asset needs assessment? You have to be conscious of what you really need, but why? We saw this on the video a few days ago, I think. To choose an um, um, excellent provider who satisfy the, the needs of the company. Excellent. You got it. Totally, Aiden. Okay, so we have two questions. Let's go in groups for the first time. Make sure you speak, okay? Talk about this. Do you perform any of these functions in your company or does your company use any of these functions? Receiving, stocking, packing, or shipping, delivering, okay? Think about the what we're talking about, uh, the distribution, right, of your product through logistics. So let's get together right now. Let's get together right now, oh yeah. Go. Okay. Teacher, the, the platform is not fixed yet, right? No. I really don't think so. Uh, the page number was? Oh, sorry. The page on the book is page 23. 23. <laughs> Okay, the first question, does your company use basic warehouse function? Even stuck in packing or shipping. Are we? Yeah, I am here. Yeah. One moment, please, because I Does your do company it. use basic warehouse functions? No. No? No. Give me a moment, please. My company doesn't have a warehouse. Warehouse functions like receiving, stocking, packing, or shipping. No, for me or for the the the, the number of second of the unit two, or for me. Mm, your company. I'm a company. company. I, I don't have a, I don't have a warehouse. Yes, she is asking you. <laughs> yes, I don't have a warehouse because I sell all of the stock. The warehouse I might provide. Yeah. Okay. This is one I, I, I can spend the money for the, to have a warehouse. But the logistics is all the time, just on time, all the time. All the time we, we provide. All right. It's, uh, uh, have the checklist in the, 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 in the company, we have a checklist. We have a thought, what about uh, what, you, what that we have and that what we, we have an inventory software. 
Yes, inventory software. So fast, so fast. Really fast, so of fast. course, yes. but you are a distributor of a warehouse. Yes, yes, yes. it is so easy. It's so yeah, easy. you see, you don't spend money on storing, yes. storing your product. Makes sense. Yes, it's, it's so easy for, but it's so difficult for many, so difficult in think about, oh, you have a battery. But for me, I try to use uh, the, the place, but, but for, for example, I have my my table okay, for where I work, but I never see person. I don't have a seat. Yeah. And I have my, yeah. Would you but, hire would you hire someone to do the deliveries of your company? Go and yes. deliver the batteries? Only by sale, only by little times one person visit me. Little times, little times. And for this one, all the all the local, I had battery. All few, the local. Few times. Yes, few times. Yeah, I have all the local, I have battery. I all the local. All it's, it's, it is fully. It's, it's full of inventory. Yes, yeah, full. Okay. So, but I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yes, stop. Yes, yes, yes. I'm stuck. Yes. And the warehouse had my provide. Yes, they have a little, a, a biggest uh, warehouse. But in my, in my local, yes, I just I am. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yes. It's so easy if you think about this one. Okay. Maybe in my house I have someone. Uh, I have. I will have. I will have some battery from China, and someone I will have in my house. Switch. Something like a four hundred. That is for the motorcycle. For to bike. For bikes. For bikes, yes. Yeah. Okay, next question or someone else. Thank you, everyone. For, for, for a long time. Is this is implement the need the need for the work? Yeah, for to start planning something, you have to need the necessities of the company for have a vision and plan okay. to have the vision. So, and to start a better planification. To start planning better. Yeah. Did you, what is, is, is talking? I don't hear what is that mean. Stalking, uh, when you put products one on top of the other. Oh. Okay. And there are, well, all boxes, all boxes state what's the maximum stacking order? So they say maximum stack equals six. So you can only pile up, you can only stack six boxes on top of each other. Yeah? Okay, the capacity. In the warehouses function, um, a part of receiving stacking and packing or shipping, and what are those? Things? Again, um, the question said, um, 
that your company uses a basis warehouses function like receiving, stacking, packing, packing, or shipping. What are the other functions? A part of that. Oh, mention, other than uh, these, camera. what other functions does a warehouse have? What about yeah. what about organizing the inventory? What about controlling the minimums and maximums of product you know that you hold on your on your inventory? But I think that uh, would be. All, all, that would be the first all, question. All the, all, all the uh, warehouse function had relation with that stuff. Yes, all correct. Very good, Jenny. All warehouse functions are related related to the inventory. Okay. Remember, if you are not producing any product, you know, it's redundant, I know. But if you're not producing anything, then you couldn't have logistics, could you? Would you have logistics without producing? Hello? No, right? You wouldn't have logistics if you don't have um, an inventory. You don't need logistics. The function of the warehouse is the principal function. Is the principal function, function of the warehouse to store, store, to mm -hmm. store product. Very good. Is the supply the uh, supply the the need for the people or for the the person the time? Um, yeah, that is correct. That's the warehouse. Uh, in my case, teacher, I in some moment is the for um, for example, we have a small warehouse in the in the sale room is to dispense the surgical, surgical material for to the spend, pandemic. To spend enough material? Uh -huh. In most material, it depends the need and every day. It's, <laughs> yes. it's, yeah. it's very important. It's very important in, uh, in maintainer. What do you say to maintainer? Keep, to keep? To keep the, 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 the stock. stocking. Stock this the stock to keep the stock. You got it. Yeah. Very good. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. I think there are um, well I, I only know that that company on idea. And what, what do you think? Uh, why, why, why is it is important to do a throughout needs assessment before hiring a 3PO service provider? Um, because you need, uh, well, well, first, you need to know what do you need because is if do you don't know what do you need exactly, you can choose a, a right uh, provider. But I, I'm, I'm not really sure this question is about TPL service because it's a, it refers to TPL service you need to uh, get information about TRIPL before hiring them because uh, you are going to send your product with them and you need to know mm -hmm. if that service is good or reliable, reliable or rely in this context because it's a through needs assessment. Uh, this assessment is for your needs or for what you need about the, the provider? Because said before hiring, hiring a TPL service provider, I um, because I was confusing about it. I, I don't know if about TPL or for your needs. Uh, 
Aqui ele diz é, é about the company. About the company because to do a so out, exhaustiva a evaluación acerca de las necesidades. What the company needs before hiring a, a whatever company, 3PL. What are, what are my goals like a company? What I want to get. What I want. Yes. About the goals, about um, needs. About a company, I I think I don't know. Or if the company needs hiring a triple service or not? Yes, so yes. For example, if you have a, a, a what kind of product? For example, I forget it. How can I say per perishable? Perecedero, perishable product, for example, yogurt, ice cream, cheese. What kind of service do you need for transport there or right. send this, this product? In, to in move. This you're going to, to move this product. To move this product. What kind of company you going to, to, to hire? Hide? Higher for, for, for your needs. Based on your needs. Uh -huh. Okay. I got uh, your point. Yeah, me too. Okay, okay. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, on the next um, task, you're going to work on exercise two and three, but not yet. Let me do the attendance one more time. It's already nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock on a Wednesday. We have to do the attendance. It's still I need to do this. Okay, good. Let's keep going. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. Thank you. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Arqueta. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. No Wendy today, okay. Um, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. And Joseph and Emil Tarriba Sabaka. Present. Thank you. Okay, let's move it. Let's keep going. We have a lot to cover. Hey, by the way, remember 
by tomorrow, if possible, or the day after tomorrow, uh, please complete your uh, midterm exam, right? The midterm exam, up to, up to the midterm exam. Okay, let's continue. So at page 23, building vocabulary, match the logistic services to their corresponding meaning. And let's see, we have LEED certification, freight forwarding service, disaster recovery plan, cross docking capability. Okay, so this is your job right now. You have to match making sense just use the logic to find the right match on the meaning and the logistic services, okay? Then we're going to work on exercise number three, two. Discuss the following checklist with areas to consider when evaluating your third party logistics candidates. Which are the most important? Really quick, what is more important among this list? Let's see. They are financially stable with a long history of successful operation. Is that important? Yes, it is. Of course. Oh. Yes, it is. Look at that. You have the answer on number seven to the concept above. Oh, oh. Leadership in energy and environmental design certification. Okay, so let's do exercises two and three, on page 23 and we come back, okay? You only have 15 minutes, practice with your classmates. Okay. Enjoy. Let's go. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. I can share this in this chat. It's on. The option is is uh, the option is enabled, Fernando. Enabled. Yes, but I can because my internet is I know stable. So don't worry. Let me send. You know what? Let me send the picture. No, I have. I had the book. Okay, don't worry then, don't worry. Let's have Irwin or someone else if they need to. Um, I'm sorry, but I didn't hear what we are are going to do because I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, it, it's, it's in your true. WhatsApp. It's on your, it's on your <laughs> WhatsApp, Alexander. Okay. Just need to match. It's just a matter of matching the concept with the meaning. Sorry. Uh, yes, okay. 
Yes. 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 Procedures to recover and protect a business IT in IT, IT infrastructure in the event of a disaster. Okay. Yeah. They cover the service. It's a company that organizes shipment. No. This is A. Letter B. Great. I always for, forgot. Forget. 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 What is the the meaning of fridge? Fridge or yeah, fridge. No. Uh, the letter B. Freight. 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 I always forget what's the meaning of freight. Freight. The company that organized two things. That's, that's, yeah, it's, it's trans, trans, transportation. Transportation. The freight. Right. Transportation. No, transport. 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 The load. The load. It could mean the load. Um, it, the transport. The charge. The cargo. Yep. Freight. Okay. Thank you. with a long history of subset operation. Mm, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Re re Number two. two. Yes. Two. The high grade reference. Yes. Yes. Number three. Uh, if they have a disaster recovery plan. Recovery plan. Yes. Recovery plan. Yes. 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 Number four, hey, Johnny, can you, uh, would you like to win? Number four? Four. Mm -hmm. They offer cross dotting capacity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes? Yes. No. Yes. yes. Number five. They offer freight forwarding services? Yes. Yes. Number six, Andre. Number six, they have experience in the countries in which you do business. Yes. Yes, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number seven, um, they have lived. Leadership in energy and environmental design. 
Education. Yes. Education. Yes. Yes. So we finish. What finish? I'm sorry, just give me three minutes. I'm about to visit the last group. We go back. Okay. Please check the column, yes or not, for each of the statements about your bill candy. They are financial, stable, with a long history as a self or operation. Yes or no? So, yes. It's like at the reputation, the image, corporate, mm -hmm. a long story. Do you think, um, Yuri? I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay. <laughs> and Tulema, do you agree with Yuri? <laughs> yeah. Number one, number two, and number three. Okay. We have great preference. The thing, yes. What do you, what do you say about cross docking capability? What is that? Um, cross docking is a uh, uh, when you receive an imagine you have a warehouse uh -huh. and in the inbound you receive a lot of goods and you uh, present to the customer without staking stacking that goods. Uh -huh. In other words, you only change uh, to the truck to the another truck or a little um, wagons, something like that, or send it to the customer. That is mm. cross docking. Come again, I didn't understand, I'm sorry. Uh, about what? Cross -docking. I didn't understand, uh -huh. cross docking? Yeah, uh, cross docking is when you um, don't uh, stock the goods, for example, you receive a big quantity of goods, for example, in a container, and you distribute without stocking. You only change the container to the another truck, so a little oh. bacon, and resend to the final customer or a retailer, for example. Interesting. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. That is cross -tucking. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let's take it back. Okay. Okay, was that too short? Did you finish both exercises? Yeah. Just a short. Okay. Finish. 
Okay. Okay, let's see. So let's do this together as well. Uh, okay. So exercise number two. Um, what is LEED certification? It provides a point system. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So it provides a point system. system to score green building design and construction. Let's think about this for a second. It provides a point system to score green building design in construction. LEED certification. Certification. A point system to score green building design. What can somebody translate this in your own words? What is that to score green building design? In construction is that like getting graded you know like getting certified it? Mm, i think it's like um take care about environmental okay so if i am a builder a construction let's say company a construction company uh they will give me a score mm -hmm. of a green company. Let's say we are green. We are a green company. It's like a certification. For uh -huh, example, certification. If, you, if you have a company, if you get a certification, your company is a high level for get contracts. To get contracts. Yes. Good. Awesome. So, okay, what is freight forwarding service? Thank you very much, Irene. Freight forwarding service. Go ahead, grab a sticker. What's B? A company that organizes money. Company, uh, Ala, keep going. A company that organizes okay, first. for corporations to get goods from the manufacturer to market customers or final point of distribution. A company that organizes shipments for corporations to get goods from the manufacturer to a market, customer, or final point of distribution. And that's freight forwarding service. How would you transfer this, Luis? How, do you, how would you translate this? Freight forwarding service, servicio de carga, servicio de envío de carga, servicio de movimiento de carga. Okay, good. What is letter C, disaster recovery plan? Okay, Alexander, Luis Ernesto, uh -huh. Andres. Set of procedures, set of procedures to recover and protect a business. Okay, IT, IT infrastructure in the event of a disaster. Do you understand the last part? Yeah. What is IT? IT is information technologies, right? Yeah, it's a department. It's a department, the IT department, very yeah. good. And the last one, cross docking capability. I love this because Luis, Luis explained it to me and it's very, it makes a lot of sense with the name, cross docking capability. Products from a supplier are distributed distributed directly to a customer or retail chain with marginal to no handling or storage time. There's no margin. 
to no handling or storage time. So is that does that what does that mean, guys? Somebody other than Luis. What do you understand by this? Cross docking capability. Luis, explain to me and correct me, Luis, if I got this wrong. So I have two trucks. I have one big truck and I have a smaller truck. Okay. And this, they belong to the same company, to the same fleet, the same fleet of the company. So this big truck is transporting a lot of merchandise, a big cargo. And at certain point, instead of continuing with the big truck and a lot of spend on gasoline, you know, or fuel, they just deliver to you with this little truck. They move one of the containers or part of the equipment, part of the merchandise is moved to another truck, right? And he continues. It's like the relevo race, right? Did I get it right? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait you got it. You got it? Oh my God, I got it. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds, it sounds familiar, right? The name sounds very familiar to the terms. Okay, yeah, Alexander, someone, you were saying something? No, if I understood well, is like, instead of using a warehouse, you continue with the transportation. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, for, I forgot to mention that Luis said that it's true. And that's the good part of it. You know, you don't spend money on a warehouse storing your product because it's in transit, right? It's in transit, it continues in transit. Yes, yeah, you, you have a, for example, you have an installation, for example, but, but you don't have a, um, um, Stakers, I, I forget them. The, the you, you don't have a stock. Uh -huh, you don't have a stock. Okay, and inventory. equipment for a stock, you, uh -huh, you don't have an inventory. You only break or, or split the cargo for the, the others, uh, little trucks, uh, as you say. This goes from the inbound directly to the outbound and go to the retailer or the final customer. Consumer, yeah, I got your point. So I think the advantage of having an inventory has become a disadvantage. I was talking to my uh, father-in-law this afternoon because, oh, by the way, <laughs> the, the mat on the floor of my old car got burned. You know, I had a welder repairing the floor and it got in flames oh my god he burned he burned my car so i'm like oh my god and it's okay the thing is that i i we were going we were going with my my father-in-law to the shop to check the car and i told him oh we saw we saw a taxi we saw two taxis with very old people very old drivers on these taxis and they were very formal you know the taxi very clean the cab was very clean and i thought man technology is killing businesses but it's because it's not because of the business line it's just that the people are were not prepared they were not prepared for technology when uber came you know, whenever when Uber hit the taxis company, the cabs company, many taxi drivers or cab drivers, they were not ready for that, for technology, because a lot of them became Uber drivers, right? So that was better. So the same thing happens here. I was thinking, um, if you don't go along, uh, you know, inventory before it used to be great and your company if your company produces something then you can see it it is something tangible and month by month 
you can see how the inventory goes. And then up. And then you can see the minimums and maximums of stock inventory. You can keep an eye on your stock inventory and that gives you as a business owner, what do you think? As a business owner, you're producing and you see the inventory moving up and down, up and down. It gives you some sort of relief, right? Yeah, we're selling, that's good, right? But now what's going on with the businesses? What about technology? How is the technology affecting the inventories, the stock of inventories? Is it? Is it affecting or is it improving? I don't know. Luis? I think it's improving, teacher, because you don't need a, a lot of time for making an inventory. You only check in a system and you have a, a real-time information. You have real-time information that is so true. So you use barcodes, right? You use, you use barcode scanners and that's it. Totally, I agree with you. I totally agree. Okay, so and the inventory continues being something to motivate the owners. now. Out of this checklist, let's play a game. Please grab a sticker, grab a sticker, and let's start just pointing out, putting a sticker next to yes or no. Okay. So what what is the, the, the goal here? Which are the most important? Which are the most important when you Make a list. Go ahead. Select the ones that you consider were the most important. Andres is saying that they are, they are financially stable with a long history of successful operations. Lema is doing the same. Okay. Mr. Ness is saying they have experience in the countries in which you do business. Oh, yes. What's that? The six, the six. Number six, they have experience yeah. in the countries in which you do business. Yeah, it's because they, they are different products in the in the transportation, the logistics. They're different. Oh, experience in the countries in which you do business. Other than the experience, other than the product, I mean, this refers to the niche of market where your product is being sold. Um, if the logistics operator knows, for example, in the United States, there are thousands of toll crossings. Did you remember during 1980s war, during the, the war, there used to be toll crossings between Santa Ana and San Salvador. When you used to travel, you had, you had to stop being checked by the military and then pay a fee. If you were driving your car, you had to pay a fee. You have to pay the toll to continue, right? How, how do you say peaje, teacher? That's peaje, toll, T-O-L-L. T-O-L-L. Yeah, you have to pay a toll. And does that exist? Does that still exist in Central America or here in El Salvador? We don't have peaje, right? We don't have tolls anymore. In El Salvador, not anymore, I guess. Yeah, I've never seen that. No, because I think that's why you pay a tax with the gas. And you pay a tax for walking every year. How do you call that? Vialidad. Vialidad. It's a lot of money, right? <laughs> it's like $1, I think, or one thirteen. Yeah. Now the companies are paying it, I think. Yeah. Company pays it directly. I remember they used to tell me, 
Without this paper, you cannot walk on the street. You have to have this paper with you all the time. Really? <laughs> right? I think that's an old uh, thing in Salvador. An old tax. I don't know if it's still paid. But anyways. Okay. Any other? That's it? Just these two that you have marked? You have put a check mark on? They have great references? Is that important? For a logistics operator? Is it good to have great references, Jocelyn? There's a lot of people with the camera off tonight. Sandra? Yes, Miguel, sorry. Sorry, Jose yes, Antonio, Carolina. Oh my God, Carol, hello. Come on guys, let's continue. Is it important for them, for them to have a disaster recovery plan? Not really. For me, it is important because it's a continuing business. Yeah, you heard that? Yes. It is important for you to have them by your side for a long period of time. For as long as your business exists. Very good. Okay, they offer cross docking capabilities. Is that important? Yeah. I think that's that's up to the kind of product that you sell or distribute. Okay. They offer freight forwarding services. Again, what was freight forwarding? Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the, actually, freight forwarding and cross docking, they sound very similar. They sound very similar. Okay. And they have experience in the conference you where we got. They have LED, Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design Certification. Leadership. The, no, the number seven. Yeah. For, it, for this one, it's not, it is not important in Salvador. What do you care about environment, right? When you're doing because business? In Salvador, uh, important is the ISO 9000 certificate. Certification, really? It's certification, yeah, yes. but you know, it's part of the, the social responsibility of the companies. Having the ISO 9000? The ISO 9000 is a process. Yeah, the or process I'm sorry, or Heidi, Heidi, do you mean that number seven is like part of the social responsibilities of the company? You got, you got sorry. me. I'm, I'm sorry, Heidi. Are you, are you referring to the point number seven is like part of the social responsibilities of the company or what Irwin is saying about the ISO 9000? No, the I think what you did what if the, the lead, if you can use it in the United States. Okay, this is the important because if you have a lead, if you have a ISO 9000, yeah, and you're but, awesome. Yeah, but in El Salvador, the most important that if you have a provide, have the ISO 9000. Only that. That's more the lead, important. The, the lead is not important in El Salvador. In it's, our it's country. secondary. It's secondary. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's secondary. Sec or, sec yeah. yeah, secondary. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Exactly. Business is business. And Haiti is right. I mean, environmental. Um, matters are important not maybe not in Salvador but social responsibility is something that many companies are are following like a trend you know going with or partnership make doing partnership with a habitat for humanity for example what's the name sure. of the other one? Oh, yeah uh, for the for ESO you see uh, mm -hmm. 400 Four thousands. Wait, uh, that was my next question. What is the latest ESO? What is the latest sorry? ESO? What is the latest ESO? Um, it depends, teacher. Because the uh, niche of market. Uh, I'm sorry, the no line of business. I meant. Mm, or what? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For uh, in uh, in environmental. <laughs> 
environmental environment environmental is uh, is uh, applied the uh, ISO uh, 4001 14001 14001 yep 14001 really 14001 yep. wow so what is the 9000 is it just for non industry companies or yeah. what just for manage uh, business just to, just, just to manage I mean, yes. if you have a quality controls and something like that quality control customer service but technical you have yep. ISO 9000, this is the first mm -hmm. ISO yep. 9000. After that, you can find many ISO. But as Luis says, they apply depending on the line of business. You have an ISO 41,000, whoops, yes. Ooh. Wait, wait, 14,000. 41,000. How many are there? 41. Oops. many. So, uh, I study I study ISO twenty years ago. More. Yeah, me too. 20, I think that thirty years ago I studied ISO. Not, not that much. Not that much. Me yeah, thirty, yeah, 30 like, years like. ago so is 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 a certificate international international certificate about the process. International certification 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 about the process about the that. processes. That's it. You got it. Wow, amazing. At least that hasn't changed. And yes, but in that moment you can find all the time. In Europe, you have a Europe certification too. My God, yeah, and well, that, that will make more sense, you know, because- yeah, but in, the, in the world, in the world, in the world, if you want to run a, a, a manufacturing or, or company, mm -hmm. you can see, if if have the ISO nine thousand first, first nine thousand one. Well, you can see nine thousand. If have nine thousand, oh okay, it's, a, it's okay, it's okay. Relax. Okay. But you don't have an ISO. Oops, sorry, you never buy, never buy the product. Okay, let's keep it up. Okay. For example, for example, manufacturing China, China, I don't know how they have the ISO, all ISO. All ISOs? All ISO. It's incredible, China. The manufacturing China, from China. Okay, that's amazing. Whew, just a minute. I'll turn something here for you. Okay, uh, so there are pros we said, right? And cons. Now, there's a video on your book talking about this. We're gonna watch it just for a minute, okay? Um, so you can find the most interesting parts. Just go through the video, scanning the video. We only have 10 minutes for this activity and then we can share really quick. It's called talking to the pros questions about third-party logistics services. So we're just gonna watch that video for a little bit. Get some vocabulary, get some vocabulary, get acquaintance with the vocabulary so we can um, share it later and use it during this topic. We're almost done with this topic, by the way. It's very extensive. I mean, we haven't stopped. It's very extensive. So we're going on that video it's on your whatsapp i'm gonna split you so you can discuss with your classmates you know afterwards just let the others know hey go to go to minute three go to minute three jump or skip skip to minute five that's very interesting skip to minute seven you got it 
okay. go, for, go forward. Let's go. I'm Jesse Janae, founder of Lumi, and this is Shipping.
Okay, I think we're back. I found some interesting words for me. I mean, I don't know uh, that may be interesting to you, like tailored, geared, from scratch. And there's one term that I'm cracking my head open, I'm cracking my head right now, trying to understand it. It says the first three to six months bootstrapped it themselves, bootstrap them, bootstrap them, bootstrap. But bootstrap, it says oreja, that doesn't make sense. What does it mean bootstrap? Yeah, it says oreja, bootstrap by itself means oreja. Uh, it's funny because uh, in, in my area, that is a framework name it from the views or the web page. bootstrap. <laughs> bootstrap is, oh. Bootstrap is the framework to, to build, uh, Beauty websites in the, the views with animating, with components, a lot of the things of, of the views. <laughs> His name is Bootstrap. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It's really weird. Bootstrap. Finally, I found new, a new word. Now, tailored. What is tailored? Did you find it? Did you find any other? I love tailored suits. I only have two suits right now. I sold the others. But, but I, I love tailored suits. I have only had one tailored suit in my life and I loved it. You know what is tailored suit? For for your graduation. Yeah, <laughs> it was for my graduation. <laughs> and I had, yeah. I had to sell it. I had to <laughs> sell it because I, I didn't fit anymore on, on the suit. Yeah. I, I feel didn't it. <laughs> I didn't fit. <laughs> Not the suit didn't fit on me. No, I didn't fit on the suit. Okay, <laughs> you got it. So, a la medida, tailored. Okay, geared, geared. Geared. What is geared? So instead of using oriented, you can say geared. This is geared to promote. Da -da -da -da. Okay. From scratch, ship bug. What is ship bug, Ada? Mm -hmm. A ship bug. Mm -hmm. Give me context. Give me context. I, I didn't get it. Ship up. Uh, from scratch. I learned English from scratch. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't know if uh, when Ada said she thought is because the the person that the, the man the man is name is named Bob, and when the the, the woman oh. said. Ship Bob, the, 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 the words uh, the, got when, mixed, got uh, mixed. She joins the words, uh, it's made, it means it makes oh, yeah, two a, things. Como, a ser como que dice ship Bob, juntos, pero en realidad Ajá. decía como que. de de Google, son generadas automáticamente a veces unen las palabras y no tienen sentido. So you have to think in context, y eso es el punto de hacer ese ejercicio. Okay, any other, any other? Irwin started his business from scratch. Likewise. Hey, you look very nice tonight, Andres. You look nice tonight. Thanks, teacher. Be nice. Likewise. Okay, likewise okay. means you too. Same to you, right? Likewise. Hey, good luck, Luis. Good luck. Likewise. Okay. I wish you the best. Likewise. 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 Arranged. So everything is ready. We have an agreement, Caroline. Everything is arranged. 
tomorrow to have to be at the airport at eight to go to London, Caroline. Everything is arranged. Luis bought your airplane ticket and the hotel in London is ready for you. Yes. It's, or, it's like organized. 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 Sorry. Yes. That is right. Never thought I will I will see that word again. I never thought I will see that word again. Ever since I was a kid, I I hadn't heard. I hadn't heard this word in English. Sword. 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 Sword means valer la pena. Sword. What? Sword? And can you spell sword? S W A R D. No, no, no. You're saying word, uh, Heidi. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah worth is, is valer la pena. That's right. You worth, you worth a million, Heidi. Okay. A million pounds of gold. You're worth a million pounds of gold. Okay, but sword is a synonym for what Americans call loan. Loan. For example, if they say mop the loan, model loan, they could tell you, hey, go and mow the loan. Mow the like mow. a grass? Like grass. That's right. It's a synonym of grass. And mow the loan is cut the grass. Mow the loan. Now, listen to this. I'm closing with this, guys. Mow the loan. Mow the loan. Okay. Some English words come from the sounds. Mow the loan. Who, who cuts the grass in nature? Who cuts the grass in nature? Uh, cows. Cows, oh. right? And how do cow how do cows do? How do cows do? Like chew, like chew it. Yeah, move along. Okay, and that's the reason why. So <laughs> I'm staying tonight with who? Who's staying? William? No, who was it? Yeah. Okay, I said the name, so we're staying. I'm gonna do the attendance so you can rest. I'm exhausted too. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, good night. Good night. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, good night. Good night. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. <laughs> the class starts at eight. <coughs> um, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Okay, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Hey, D. Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Alvarez. Present, good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present, good night. Good night. Jose Antonio Julia Fernandez. Present, good night. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. And good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana, and Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Selena Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Good night. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. How are you doing? What's up? Sorry? How's your how's your life going? How are you doing? Everything is good. Awesome, awesome. Did you look tired lately? <laughs> yeah. Why no, is that? There is uh <laughs> my uh how do you say ventilador teacher? My fan? <laughs> no. It's in front of me. 
candy. That's why. Uh, oh, you got. Oh, okay. Your eyes are dry. Yeah. Is it hot? No, no. Yes. Just the wind. Just the wind. Is your workload increasing? Is your Sorry? work is your workload increasing? I guess. You know what I mean, right? You have more work than usual. Yeah. You work in a counting. You work in accounting, right? You said. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, business. Um, administrative. Assistant you, administrative. Administrative assistant. Administrative assistant. Wait. So, do you do the accounting or no? Do you okay. do Do you do the accounting for the company? No, no, no. Uh, we have an um, accounting external. An external accounting, an external mm -hmm. accountant, or an external accounting company. That's a, that's a trend, right? Everybody's using um, outsourced. Yeah, that's a, outsourced. That's a third party accounting provider. Yeah, third party accounting provider. It, it's like a trend. I mean, but I wonder how do they hire their employees because I have seen a lot of young people, teenagers working in these companies of accounting, outsourcing accounting. In Escalon. Yeah. I think it's uh, cheaper to that's that's what I heard. That's what I heard. Their yeah. services are cheaper than having a an accountant, just one account. Yeah. But how risky how risky do you think it is? Yeah. Um, you have to be uh, checking most of the the document uh -huh. uh, at the end of the time because you have to be sure about what they they what send to you and they present uh -huh. what are they doing yeah just in case they send uh, a contract where you give them your company right oh yes yeah, sign here mm -hmm. oops, oops okay <laughs> that's funny okay 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 so tell me tell me something i don't know how's things going with english are you practicing anything at all or Yes, I try. Uh, when I have time, I uh, yeah, I look some videos or look for some uh, new vocabulary. How do you do it? Yeah, in YouTube most of the time. On YouTube. On YouTube. On YouTube, everything that is electronic, you go like on on. On um, and like video related on TV, on the computer, on the laptop, on the tablet, on YouTube, on a website. But then you can say in the book, and it is written. I, I read that in a book. I read that in a book. What is the most, uh, I, I don't know how to say this, what is the what is your favorite skill? What is your favorite skill of yourself? You know, something that you have learned in life and you admire yourself because you you have this this um, this skill. You know, you. ability ability. I don't know, uh, but I, I am a good player, soccer player. Really. Yeah. How did you learn? Uh, when I was a child, yeah, I trained 
a lot with my uh, relatives and relatives. With my relatives. Sorry. And with my whole friend. Yeah. Okay. okay. What's your favorite position? Uh, in the middle. In the middle, the middle field. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. How often do you play? Uh, once in a week. Once a week? Once a week? During the weekend? No, no. Uh, during the week, uh, for example, on Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm. At, at, night, at night. Yeah, after work. At the Cafe Talon? Yeah. Really? You live close to the Cafe Talon? I work. Both. You work close to the Cafe Talon? Yeah. Mm. So if one day you are not in the class, mm, <laughs> It's gotta be, be playing football. It's gotta be playing football. That's okay. No, I, hey, but it's, it's, it's good. Don't stop playing football. That they say it's really good. It's really good to practice a sport. You know. How old are you? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah. Don't stop it. No kids, right? No kids. No wife. <laughs> no yet. Keep it. Keep it that way. Don't. Don't. <laughs> No, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Being married is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's kidding me. No, it's difficult, but but at the same time, it's important because you back you back up. You have a backup. You know, you have a backup yeah. someone. Yeah. In the end, when it comes to money, you know, and life in general, I mean, it's difficult to be alone. It's really difficult. Eventually. Eventually, but you're 31. Maybe when you get 35 or 40, like me, you can think of I don't know something serious. Maybe adopting a dog. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's serious. That's very serious. Another life, you know, have to become responsible. Okay, so hey, keep it up. You're doing good, actually. So. Next month, I think in January, we're starting like mid January, intermediate five. So you're good. Don't stop practicing, okay? Okay. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Take care. Okay. Good night. Good night.